What's up mga kamuba? So uh, today I'm going to teach you how to remove the background on your uh, live stream. Tulad ng nakikita nyo ngayon. So I saw your comments on my first tutorial video. If you haven't checked it out, you can click on the link below and find out more settings on OBS Studio. So today, ayun ang focus natin. I'm also going to explain uh, some things na naging issue sa inyo sa A Power Mirror and sa OBS Studio. So, uh, tuturuan ko kayo kung paano to set up. So, let's go and do it now. Uh, tatanggalin ko muna to para mag-start from scratch tayo. Okay. Ang una natin gagawin is uh, since uh, na-download na natin yung kailangan natin, yung OBS Studio at yung A Power Mirror, nakakonect na rin yung A Power Mirror ko sa um, Mobile Legend. By the way, uh, papakita ko sa inyo kung ano yung usual yung nakikita sa um, sa A Power Mirror. Diba, um, may issue kasi na parang hindi siya nag-full screen. Um, parang blurry siya, tapos pangit yung resolution. So, ang kailangan nyo lang gawin is pumunta kayo sa display settings. Make sure nyo na nakastretch siya in full screen mode. And, uh, dito sa airplay resolution, um, i-make sure nyo din na recommended yung nakaselect. So, ayan nga. Babalik ko siya sa Mobile Legend. Ayan. Makikita nyo, naka-full screen na siya. So, pagpunta natin ng OBS Studio, mag a source tayo, i-click natin yung Window Capture, and sa-select natin yung apowermirror.exe, apower main. Click OK. Ayan, nakaganyan siya, di ba? So, i-click natin yung uh, Order, sorry, Transform, stretch to screen. Ayan. So, meron na tayong uh, Mobile Legend na nakasetup dyan. Next is yung Video Capture Device. Punta natin dito. Ayan. So, makikita nyo, may background pa rin. May background ako ngayon. Kulay green. Uh, so, ang kailangan natin gawin to remove the background on your OBS Studio is to have a chroma key filter. Pero, um, just a reminder, you need to have a green screen. So, I'm going to um, right-click on Video Capture Device. I'm going to select Filters. Under Filters, Effect Filters, i right click ulit. At i-click ko yung Add. Um, and then, select Chroma Key. Ayan. So, makikita nyo, wala na akong background. Um, so far. So, kapag meron parang uh, unsmoothness dun sa video, uh, just adjust nyo na lang yung video settings dito. Um, so, ayan. So, i-click natin yung close. Ayan. So, di ba? Napakasimple. Ayan. Nand wala na akong background. Just a reminder nga, um, you need to have a green, green colored background. Pero sa chroma key, kung babalik tayo ulit doon, meron mga iba naman na um, background na pwede nyong gamitin like blue, magenta, or even custom colors. So you can also have a different background and see if it works out for you. Okay? So, ayan. Um, so that's how easy you can remove your background on OBS Studio. And another thing pala guys is kung gusto nyong lagyan ng parang banner ng mga Facebook page nyo or something sa live stream nyo, um, ikiklik nyo lang yung add source sa OBS Studio and click on text. Pag select nyo nyan, um, halimbawa gusto nyo lagyan yung FB page nyo. FB page J Fernandez. Kuwari yan. FB page ko yan. So, i-click ko yan. Tapos, i-adjust ko. Gusto ko yung color is red. Ayan. Tapos, kung gusto mo lagyan ng background, pwede rin. Um, I-select mo lang yung color ng background. So, kumari white. Click OK. And, ayan. Background opacity. Um, ayan. So, ayan nga. Uh, kasi, mostly na mga streamers, nilalagyan nila yan sa... 
um, sa kanilang live stream. And, meron pang ibang mga pwede mong gawin sa OBS Studio. Kiklik mo lang lagi yung source dito. Sometimes, nilalagyan nila ng image or media source um, para maging maganda yung live stream. So, that's just a tip, guys. And, at another thing is, kung naglalag yung Mobile Legends nyo, um, like, hindi, kung mabilis naman yung internet speed nyo, pero naglalag siya, um, you can go and adjust some of the settings in video kasi usually, maybe, uh, may problema lang sa video resolution. Kailangan kasi, most of the time, na kung ano yung display setting ng uh, laptop nyo or computer nyo, ganun din yung sa video resolution ng OBS Studio, studio nyo. Like, for example, yung sa akin is actually 1366 uh, by 768. Paano nyo malalaman yun? Um, Kiklik mo na yung save. Pupunta ako sa pinaka desktop screen and then ira right click ko, kiklik ko yung display settings. This is for Windows 10. And pagka under display settings, makikita mo, naglo-load pa. Ayan. Uh, makikita mo kung ano yung display resolution sa ngayon. So, it's 136, 1366 by 768. So, ayun yung gagamitin ko sa live stream ko. And, let's see. At, also, kung yung FPS value nyo is, um, hindi 59.94 you can adjust it there kasi usually hindi it yung frame rate din yung nagko-cost ng lag so either 60 or 30 fps value ang ilagay niyo diyan so yun nga uh, that's all for today and thank you for watching this tutorial if you like this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel for more tutorial videos Happy gaming sa inyo mga kamoba and I'll see you very soon.